In this lecture, we are going to look at the Food and Drug Administration Regulation of Artificial Intelligence and Medical Devices. We will start by providing some context on what the FDA is. We will then look at definitions for AI and medical devices. We're going to focus on software as a medical device and look at some examples. And then we're going to look at how the FDA regulates these medical devices. What is the FDA? FDA stands for Food and Drug Administration. This is an organization within the Department of Health and Human Services, and it regulates food, drugs, and medical devices. When it comes to artificial intelligence and medical devices, AI software is considered a medical device if it is intended to treat, diagnose, cure, mitigate, or prevent disease or other conditions. And a medical device that is AI or ML enabled is categorized as software as a medical device or SAMD. I'm not really sure if that's how it's pronounced, but if you see SAMD somewhere, that is software as a medical device. Examples of software as a medical device include using an AI system to analyze MRI to detect and diagnose a stroke, using a computer-aided detection system to detect breast cancer, and an important consideration here is that some smartphone apps may be considered software as a medical device. When it comes to regulation, the FDA regulates software as a medical device based on risk classification. There are three classification categories. Class one is the lowest and class three is the highest. And I've provided a few examples here for you. So a class one device, an example of that would be a glucose monitor. And again, that's gonna be the lowest risk classification category. An example of a class two device would be one that is analyzing MRIs or X-rays. And any class two device must undergo a 510K review. That is a type of thoroughness. 510K is a part of the regulations. I'm providing you with a bit more information than you need to know, but again, I think the context is important and it's possible that this may pop up on the exam. So just in case, remember that 510K review concerns FDA and software as a medical device. Finally, a class three classification applies to life supporting, life sustaining, or medical devices that are substantially important in preventing impairment. And these devices must undergo a full pre-market approval which includes clinical evidence of the medical device's benefits. In this lecture, we have looked at the FDA and its regulation of software as a medical device. Remember that FDA stands for the Food and Drug Administration, which is responsible for regulating food, drugs, and medical devices. AI software is considered a medical device if it is intended to treat, diagnose, cure, mitigate, or prevent disease or other conditions. Remember that the acronym SAMD stands for Software as a Medical Device. Examples of AI systems in medical devices include analyzing MRIs to detect and diagnose a stroke, computer-aided detection to detect breast cancer, and remember that some smartphone apps may be considered SAMD. Finally, the FDA regulates these devices based on a risk classification. There are three classes, one, two, and three, with class one being the lowest and class three being the highest.